Hello YouTube family. Today I'm going to do a blind hem. So I'm going to use this little square piece of material to show you guys the blind hem. So we're going to go over to the sewing machine. So it's two pieces. My practice material that I'm doing everything on. So I'm not going to be making a garment you guys. I'm just going to do a blind hem. So first I'm just going to uh, set my sewing machine um, to the stitch that I like to use. Uh, and we're going to use foot number J to do a straight stitch. Okay. So let's go over to the machine. Okay. Here's the machine. So I have it on stitch number two and I have the sewing machine foot J on here to do the straight stitch. So let's put the material up here and do the stitch. I don't have my piece right here on the machine. If you're wondering what it is, that's the piece that holds the, um, the uh, oops, the swami, the extra things that you need for the sewing machine. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's raise that up. Make sure this isn't a double piece of material. I'm gonna do it. And make sure I do it on the smooth side. So. All right, so this is just a practice me piece of material. So what you do is do a straight stitch, set this to a loose stitch at the top, um, and just do a straight stitch. Okay, next what you wanna do is you can cut this thread off because it's going to be thread everywhere. So we're going to cut this thread off right quick. Get that off that side. And let's get, ooh, get this one off this side over here. We don't like thread everywhere when we're doing our projects, okay? All right. So next what you want to do, let me see if I can tilt this down some. Okay. Next what you want to do, you're supposed to iron this, but we're not ironing it. We're practicing stitches, okay? Because just, just crease this across the stitching right here as if you ironed it, okay? Let's go back to the machine. All right. So on the machine, you have to set your machine up again. So what you want to do is change the uh, pressure foot to pressure foot R. So let's change that. Make sure you get your tails to your thread pulled out long because you don't want thread popping out the machine. Pull that out. Let's apply this pressure foot right here. Okay. And put your thread through the pressure foot right there. So now that we've done that, you want to change this to stitch number 13 too. So let's see. 13 and the letter R shows up right there. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and place your material on the machine and try to make sure that this uh, part is right in the middle so that the thread will catch on to the edge of the material. So let's put that about right there. Okay, so er check and make sure everything is set up correctly and make sure you turn this stitch back to your regular stitch that you're gonna have it on up here at the top. I to put it back on four. I did have it down like low, so let's put it on four. Okay, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and sew this and do this blind hem. Okay, so this is what the blind hem should look like. And let's fold this over. And that's what it looks like. You're supposed to press this, press it, and that's what the blind hem would look like. And of course, you would have a finished edge on the edge of your material right here. You know, this would be tucked under, you know, and sewed, well, you know, it wouldn't be just a free edge. So this is what your blind hem looks like. Very nice and neat. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up this video if you like me showing you how to do a stitch on your brother CS7205. 
we did the blind hem stitch today. All right, talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.